Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Steam for Arch Linux. Now, you're probably wondering, this should be as simple as just going to the Steam website and downloading it and installing it. Not necessarily. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So first off, we're going to need to open our friend terminal. Uh, in this case, it'll be console because I'm using the KDE version. This will work on better this will work on normal versions of arch as well you could do it in dwm or any other variation of arch this will work so now we're here we need to go to the pacman configuration file so in this case i'll do it with nano so it'll be sudo nano slash slash pacman.conf conf uh, i've realized i uh, put a uh, comma instead of a period and now we're just going to go enter the password apparently i don't have nano installed so we're just going to sort we'll go with vim instead okay once we're inside the configuration file we need to scroll down to the multi-lib section this will allow uh, multi multiple uh, download locations to be enabled for pacman so once we get down to uh, this section let's see multi-lib testing and multi-lib we need to just get rid of the multi-lib to do that we'll just hit insert uh, uncomment the pair of them so this says hey look you can use these libraries and then include this library list or this mirror list and that'll be that'll allow it so to do that once we've done there we just do control c w q so right quit and then do it with the exclamation mark just to ensure it is done once that's done, we then move on to save, save and exit. We've done that. Now we need to install some fonts for Steam because sometimes Steam doesn't play friendly with Arch Linux just based off the fonts. Sometimes there aren't the fonts. It, sometimes there are fonts that are needed that are not installed. So to do that, we will install the TTF liberation font set with the following. sudo pacman s ttf lib liberation liberation uh doesn't exist so what we need to do because it's saying hey look this doesn't exist we'll just go okay add the y and then it'll download and install it now this could take anywhere from 20 seconds to a couple of minutes depending on your internet speed and how fast your computer is this has found everything it needs to so we just need to go yes i'll accept that and that will download and install the fonts that's needed well the TTF liberation font set and then once that's done we'll download and install steam to do that it'll be sudo command hyphen s steam i accidentally stuck in a semicolon to start that now this is going to ask what do you have because i am amd we're just going to keep hitting yes uh default number one is that so just hit yes that's downloaded and installed that should just be as simple as doing steam now we'll just update just to make sure so sudo pacman syu uh, yes so this is gonna do all the down updates it needs to this is recommended uh, for when installing steam now this could take anywhere from as previously mentioned 20 seconds to three or four minutes based off the amount of updates it needs to download so we're just gonna sit and wait for this to finish the updates are finished installed and we're now going to install steam now you may have noticed previously uh, in the video that uh, i went to go install steam and didn't notice that it didn't install properly because it was missing packages it had an error with the package list i didn't notice that until i've just been and looked at the video recording so you now see it's installing fine i didn't notice that it didn't install so now all we just need to do is just tell steam hey look run please and then it will run as you can see it's just doing the usual update and the runtime just doing all 
the general stuff Steam does when you launch it, anytime you launch it. Now this could take, and this could take anywhere from 20 seconds to 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending on how Steam wants to play with me today. So Steam's deciding it wants to play hardball and take its time. So we will just run it from inside. Never mind, it's done it for us. All right, so this will be easy. So as we can see, there's currently no font issues at all because we've we've already installed the TTF liberation fonts. And now this will just go, oh, hey, look, I'm going to do Steam things. So this will work exactly as Steam does on any other platform, whether it be another Linux distribution, uh, Mac, Macintosh, Windows. It'll just run because it's Steam, and we all, we all love Valve for doing Steam things. Anyway, this will do, and then it's going to unpack the runtime environment, and then we should be good to go. I'll just quickly log into Steam, uh, just to show you that it is working, and then we will be good. Okay, as we can see here, Steam is working fine as and as it should do. Everything is working, there are no issues at all, which is always very good. Uh, as you can see, I've been playing uh, a, a little bit of Kerbal recently, as well as The Sims and Eurochoke, just normal games. Anyway, here's the library, and then here is the store page. Store page always does take an age, no matter where you, which platform you're on. And that is it. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe. And comment if you have any issues and um, maybe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i'd like to thank my patreons uh, raining hazmat and ashley for being subscribed on patreon i uh, hope you have a good rest of your day thank you very much have a good day